Station at the Gila County Jail in Globe, Arizona. We're back here tonight to do another investigation. We really enjoy coming here. We have a lot of good experiences here. And tonight, we're going to step it up a notch to try and get the spirits to interact with us more. Right now, we are all set up. We just unloaded our gear on the inside. And we are going to grab our trifield meter and we are going to walk around the outside of the building and see if we get any spikes on our EMF any weird magnetic readings or anything like that, we're gonna walk around and then we're gonna go back on the inside and we are gonna walk the floors and see if we get any EMF spikes. So right now, we're on the outside of the jail. We have our trifield meter that we're gonna be trying. And then right behind us is the church that's next door to the jail. And then to the left is the courthouse that we are right next to. So we're gonna be showing you some of the outside jail looks like from the outside and we'll be checking some stuff out so come with me around the building it's crazy to see all the window guards on here open everything off Gallows back here? This is the gallows back here. Okay, it looks. We gotta get in here next. Wow. Do you see that? Look how high the reading is out here. It's at a five. Staying consistent at five, which is kind of odd. I see some sort of electrical outlet right here, so. Nothing on that. Here's a cool shot of the jail. You should get that. We are inside the jail now. We are going to be walking around, trying to get some readings on a little trifill meter. I think we're going to just walk around on the first floor. We'll start on the cell block and work our way up. So let's go. Now, we've come here in the past, this is our third time here, and I know the spirits here are kind of shy and a little standoffish at first, so we might, it might be super quiet the first hour we're here, but we'll, we'll try and get them to warm up to us. And I noticed that every time we're here, when you try and call them out or talk to them, I think that gives them more of a reason to not want to talk to you. So we'll just walk around, kind of be normal and just talk and see if anything kind of comes to us while we're here. And then if nothing does, we can start calling some people out.
You know, from just kind of walking around in here, I don't know if it's because it's daytime or what, but it feels really calm in here. It doesn't really feel like heavy and really energetic like it usually is in here. So I don't know what's going on. I feel like we're fishing right now. Any minute now, we're gonna big bite of something. We'll get all excited. So far, nothing on the trifling here. I'm not seeing the movements here. Like, obviously, because I'm walking, the needle will bounce around a little bit, but it's not. It hasn't actually physically left this room. Okay. Oh, there's their uh, gallow set up out here if you want to get that. to the second floor and we are going to see if we get any readings up there so far this has stayed on zero and then I think if it continues to stay on zero we'll maybe try a different approach to what we do Let's see if we can get in the talk oh that just spiked up to five Isaiah when I was walking up here that literally spiked up to five That was crazy. It was like a quick jump up to five. And it was super quick too. It was not like a steady, like it stayed there. Like it went up to five and then just dropped super quick. Wonder if something's hiding from us. They like to do that around here. First at zero. I've not seen this go up with the, on the stairs, which is kind of cool. cell door slamming shut and I think he and I are like we're anticipating we're like on our heels because we want a cell door to slam shut which would be super exciting for us which I don't know about you Isaiah but that's kind of what I am hoping one day happens is we hear something really loud that we know is unexplainable Still hasn't gone off. There's our friendly gallows down there.
There's the courthouse next door. After analyzing this part of the video, it sounds like we capture a possible spirit voice. It sounds like it says, did you hear that? Now, I know neither one of us said that because we would have been talking to each other about what we heard. And it definitely would have been a lot louder in the camera's microphone if Isaiah would have talked. We'll replay it and let you listen to it. on our friendly trifield meter. And I haven't felt anything in here either. Like sometimes when we go to these places, we can just feel stuff with our bodies. Like we can feel stuff touching us or like we can smell something or get the sense of somebody's ear, but I have not gotten the sense of anything's ear. And I think you would agree with me, I have not, I have not actually gotten the sense of we're not alone. Like, we did get a spike on the stairs, but it was so quick, it was just, like, to five and that was it. So it's not enough, you know, it's not enough evidence to support there's something here with us right now. Which, we've been here before, and we've definitely gotten good evidence here. Like, we got an EVP in this room, actually, right here, that told us to get out last time. And then, I don't remember, but the first time we were here, we, we were doing a spirit box session in Kingsley Cell, and we heard a door slammed it was loud you remember that it was loud and it shook like the whole building so we definitely get evidence here but we've actually never investigated during the day usually we're taking all of our time to set up and put cameras and get stuff going so it's just interesting to see how stuff will change as the night goes on see if it gets more active or maybe if it's just our emotions and nerves playing on we're in a dark jail sort of thing so last time we were here, we got some really high EMF readings from inside of Kingsley's cell. Um, I don't know if it's because there are telephone poles right here, and there are. There are lines that are literally running through the alleyway. And what I'm thinking is, you're getting probably a high EMF in here because of that, but it also could be charging the spirits here. That's probably why it's so active here is because it could be that it's giving energy to the spirits. So we're gonna walk in here and see if we get high EMF readings. And if we do, then we know that it's because of the telephone poles. Because last time we were here, we got high readings and second time we were here, we used a different device. So we have three devices. We have a K2 meter, a millimeter, and then we use this trifield meter. And we have actually never tried this trifield meter at this location yet. So we're about to try in this room. So we'll take this trifield meter right here. And last time, we were literally setting the millimeter like right here in these bars. And it was spiking. We got it to go up to like a four and a five. So right now, we have gotten no readings on the trifield. And we are literally it's literally sitting at a zero. Like, look. It's literally sitting at a zero. And last time we were in here, we were getting high readings on our millimeter and K2. So that could have potentially actually been something. Because if you watch one of our previous videos, we had the millimeter like right here inside of the bars and it went like up to a five 
And as you see, this is sitting at a zero. This has not moved. So that is actually kind of interesting. So we're gonna walk out of here. I'm gonna try this actually really fast. It's still not leaving the zero. So we might have that might have actually been something that we were picking up on. Right here, if you're listening to the video several times, the voice is really faint and quite in the distance when you're listening to it. But it sounds like a woman's voice goes, okay, we enhance the audio, we'll replay it and let you listen to it. So now we're going to go back into the woman's word, see if this spikes at all as we're walking through here. So this whole entire time we've been doing this, this is going off once. Yeah, nothing, absolutely nothing. It's still on a zero. Vanessa. Someone wrote Vanessa. And then they played a fake tic-tac-toe. So we got something new we are going to try today. So in our last video, someone said you guys should try divining rods. Now, I'm not big into using these, and I personally really don't want to use them, but I will give them a try and see. It's always fun to try new equipment and try new things when we go ghost hunting, especially when we go to places that we've already been to, because we know the location, we're familiar with it. And so we are going to walk around and see what happens. So we'll start on the first one. And then I will walk around with these, see if anything happens. Okay, that's the food in here. You smell that? Feels like a burger. Someone cooking? Can you move these in my hand? Can you turn them in a different direction? I'm sorry. We're going to see if you want to touch these. Do you want to? That's really weird. Look at this. Look, like I'm being serious. Like these are actually moving. Look, 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 look. Look at the right one. This is literally moving back and forth and I am not moving. Look. Look. Are you moving these? Can you make them cross each other? Can you make these cross each other? I'm literally not doing that. Isaiah.
Can you straighten these back out? Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my take some still photos with this amazing iPhone 8 and we will be taking three photos at a time with the flash on to see if we can capture anything in the photos and then after that we are going to go all lights out and we are going to start our investigation. So into the sales we go. Now there are a lot of mosquitoes in here because they, they leave the windows open because they can get hot. So there's a lot of bugs in here. So could just be a bug that's making my face itch. Jesus, my, my, my lips just start itching all of a sudden. I just felt something tug on my shirt. I wasn't even close enough. I literally I pulled just, my hands it, on it, the it felt like this. It grabbed my shirt right here and it felt like this. Like that. Right, so now we're gonna go to the second floor and take some photos too as well. And then uh, we'll go to the third floor. Right here as I'm talking, it sounds like a voice says, no. After listening to it a few times with headphones and enhancing the audio, it still sounds like a voice says, no. We'll replay it and let you listen to it. Hold 
why would that just stop when we walked up through it? I hear something funny. Huh? That's the noise I was hearing that one time when I said that I was sleeping and I heard that noise in my bathroom. In your house? In my apartment. It's the same noise that you heard? It was, it was very similar to that. It kind of sounds like someone's clipping their nails. That's exactly what that sounded like. Why did it stop? So what just happened was we were hearing a clicking sound inside of here. It honestly sounded like somebody was cutting their nails. And as we started walking towards the noise, it stopped. Now the reason that was kind of such a big deal for us was when Isaiah was leaving his house today, he heard the same noise in his house. And we don't do cleansing on ourselves. We don't do that at all. And we do have stuff that follows us home. That is an actual thing because we get people all the time that are like, do you have stuff following you home? Yes, we do have stuff follow us home. And sometimes it follows us to other places. So we were kind of wondering what that was, but we'll keep our composure and get back to taking the photos. What the fuck? What? Oh, I hope I caught that on camera. From Something actually really cool happens here. As Isaiah was walking around the corner, he said he saw a shadow pass by the door, kind of in the back area. Now, on camera, you really don't see it, but that's not what's extremely interesting. If you listen closely in the background, and it took a couple times to make out what it was saying, it sounds like something goes, hey, and actually I react to it in the video. You can hear me say, did you hear that? We'll replay it and let you listen to it. From, from my angle. This staircase is super cool because when we were getting a tour of this place, uh, there's quite a few people that have actually been pushed on this staircase. So, and another thing is on our previous investigations here, this is not a place where we've really ever hung out and tried to investigate. I mean, we've never actually just hung out in this like this little spot back here. So that might be something we do tonight. I saw you do that, but what, what happened? <laughs> it sounded like there was somebody walking across this, and it spooked me enough that I'm like, no, you're not coming in here. <laughs> you're not coming in here. Oh, wait. Okay. Sad. We've been trying to get access to the courthouse for a while uh, to do an investigation here, but there's supposedly a waiting list on it. And uh, we cannot get access here yet because we have gotten permission to investigate here. It's just taking some time. So eventually we will get to do this courthouse, which will be really exciting. camera we never really get much on the third floor but also I don't think we've spent a lot of time up on the third floor uh, so we'll see we'll see what happens tonight as we're walking around here um, 
I definitely feel like that's good. That, yeah, that's you walking. I definitely feel like more of the energy is on the first and second floor, but we'll attempt to see what happens on the third floor. Put in the comments, should I walk around with this if we ever come back here? Overhead lighting. A chair to sit. Sadly, I haven't seen any couches in here, though. For our friend. It's a fish missile. Looks like it. It's a fish missile. So right now we're going to start turning off lights. Um, we always leave our command center, which is right there. We always leave our command center lit up, so it's kind of like a break room for us. Or if we like need to take a breather or something, we can just go in there and relax. Uh, but we will turn all the lights off around it, like right here. And then I will shut this door uh, so it's so it kind of blocks out some of the light. And then pretty much like this this whole jail right now is like pitch black. Like upstairs is pitch black. Um, 